I wanted to share my most recent flyover of the Tesla engineering semis at the um, Tesla prototype production plant just outside of Giga, Nevada. In this video, I want to refer to the recent independent real world test as reported by Inside EVs and others. In short, the results were very impressive and they confirm what my sources have been telling me and what I have been sharing via X and YouTube over the past several months. Without getting too far into the independent report, we can glean from it that the Tesla Semi works. The model is proven. Drive, while the trailer is being loaded or unloaded, or the driver has taken a DOT mandatory break, charge, matriculate to the next stop, and repeat. Do I think this will convince everyone? Probably not. Do I think it will convince fleet operators? Almost certainly. You may already know that in addition to the positive comments for my previous Tesla Semi content, there's always a minority of what can only be described as haters. The videos of the Tesla Semi going beast mode up the Donner Pass grade have been greeted by the following comments. The trailer's empty. I don't know how these people have x-ray vision, but the fact is I know it's... Um, uh, fully loaded up to over 80,000 combined, uh, combined gross vehicle weight up to 82 because of the extra 2,000 allowed for EV semis. Another comment is, oh, it's hauling potato chips. They never mentioned the Pepsi sodas, which are also hauled by Pepsi and are obviously much heavier. The other thing is, this is the engineering unit, not Pepsi working Pepsi vehicles that have been delivered to PepsiCo. These are engineering vehicles that are fully loaded and um, basically are being driven up and down the Donner Pass Summit to Auburn, California and back, as well as other destinations on a daily basis to drive up the miles and uncover any sort of issues um, so they can be remediated. Others mention uh, some obscure use case, like hauling up an, ex an excavator up a remote Canadian pass or some other similar remote edge case, which um, doesn't prove anything because no one's saying that the Tesla Semi needs to uh, replace every single diesel semi from day one. Um, but it certainly can replace a vast majority of the fleet as quickly as they can be built. Moving on. I want to share that this, the single biggest breakthrough that makes the current version a viable long haul semi at the um, Pepsi code delivery event, I was the first time we found out that instead of the four engine model three uh, design that we were originally um, introduced to, there was a all new design. And that design is um, the uh, breakthrough. Before that, things were touch and go. Once this new design was implemented, um, things got a lot better at Tesla Semi Engineering. And that breakthrough is the EDA and the TDA. What do I mean? EDA is the efficiency drive axle. It's a single motor axle that is always engaged. The TDA is the um, dual motor torque drive axle that is um, automatically kicked in when po extra power is needed and then disengaged for efficiency for, so that the single EDA axle can do the bulk of the, um, uh, of the load. This is a huge and profound um, impact on the, uh, the electrical um, drain and also on the, on the, on the, um, high voltage system, um, uh, on the eff efficacy of the high voltage system. It was the EDA and the TDA that without the EDA and the TDA in this particular breakthrough, we would not have, we would not live in a world with an effective Tesla semi that we know today. Much of the credit, as I've mentioned before, 
goes to an individual by the name of Jason Lute, the architect and engineer in charge of the day-to-day engineering fleet, and also the guy who chased me away from the Tesla Semi prototype lot the very first day I laid eyes on this machine. Um, from what I understand, he's a uh, incredible. He, he, he's on. He, he's in, he's very similar to e- Elon in a way that he's not necessarily the most personable guy because he's he's deep inside his head. I'm looking forward to the um, progress of the Tesla Semi and the six point uh, three point six billion dollar excuse me expansion that in the not too distant future will be producing high volumes of these machines. The Tesla Semi is coming to an interstate near you, and I am looking forward to it. Thanks for joining me, and I'll have more information on the Tesla Semi and the uh, expansion that will allow the Semi to become a, 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 a force in interstate trucking. Thanks again.